Him coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. Uh, so, you were kind of vague on the phone. What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. Mark of a guilty conscience. I assure you that's not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but I figured I'd do you a solid and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? <laughs> you don't recognize your girl? You snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. No way. Why would Sauri, son? The way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon, so you can finally tie the knot. But sometimes, women get cold feet, you know? They just want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You... Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. And this is a violation of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. As I'd expect from a lawyer. But Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? Uh, oh. Well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel, Slugger. Uh, One last fling before the big day? <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What? The... This is... You've got it all wrong! Whoa, whoa! Take it easy, would ya? Come on, Hoshino-san. We don't have to play by courtroom rules here. It's simple. I can make this whole thing disappear for you. You're gonna pay. The only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing I love more than a fast learner, kid. Four million yen. This goes up in smoke, and the client never has to hear anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that kind of money! Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? I... So, you take the client's money up front. Then you shake down the mark for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives really rake it in, don't you? Who the fuck? Shit. You were... You were in the Matsugane. And you're Shiro Senda. You were a former lieutenant in the Bato family. And right now, you're on my turf. Kaito-san. That was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Huh? Acting? One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. And that's why Hoshino-kun and Saori-san put together a three-act play that got us everything we need. All that's left to do is bag your ass with it. Ain't that right, Hoshino-kun? Yep. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey! All right. That'll be four million yen you took from your client. Plus 300,000 for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM? Get back here! Oh, I pay for the fucking game.
Good. Still in one piece. Ugh. Shit. Now then, Senderson. Your office is in Kamurocho, right? How about you give me a little inside tour? this about boss I I kind of screwed up I know you you're with the Matsugani family the name's Kaito and I'm with the Yagami detective agency now <laughs> you call this dump an office it's got the scent of illicit Yakuza business all over it you trying to scare your clients I take it you're not one of those clients. What do you want? You the head honcho around here? Igarashi's the name. I'm the Bato Detective Agency's chief consultant. You mean the Bato family, right? Didn't you guys used to call yourselves the Tojo Clan R&D? You dig up dirt on cops and their families. All to twist the long arm of the law. Seems going legit hasn't taught you a damn thing. And it's making us real detectives look bad. That shit won't fly around me. Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a customer satisfaction rate of over 80%. So kindly take your bitching, blow it out your ass. Then why don't I cut to the chase? I'm here for the million yen you grifted out of my client. Plus, 300 grand for the trouble. Make it snappy, and I'll leave a souvenir. You're screwed more than sideways if the cops hear it. Senda, you clusterfuck. <sighs> Real sorry. Well, I suppose I should give you credit for leading a competitor right to us. Fair warning. I'm tacking on extra for the ass whooping. All right, cut the yapping. Shut this idiot up permanently. Get me. Looks like our total comes out to one and a half million. Pretty lean for a business that was about to go under. You'll get yours someday, Kaito. Mark my words. <laughs> That's what they all say.
can't believe you got my money back from those crooks. How can I ever thank you? No need. I was just taking out the town garbage. Your husband wasn't even cheating on you, was he? No. But they still threatened to tell him I booked an investigation. Believe me, you're not alone here. There's been a recent uptick of con artists operating as detectives. See, normally, ex-Yakuza have to wait five years before they can open a detective business. So they'll often skirt the law by setting up a civilian to be the agency's owner. I see. Actually, I did find it strange how much cheaper they were than other agencies. Well, with the Yagami Detective Agency, we don't charge a yen until you see results. We're a name you can trust. So, next time you need to keep tabs on your man, don't hesitate to swing on by. <laughs> I think I'll be fine for now. I've chosen to trust my husband. But thank you. By the way, Hoshino, how are things really going with Saori-san? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in it for the long haul. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if we're actually even together. You guys have been dating, what, three years? Never thought about getting hitched? Of course! At least, I, I have. As for whether Saori-san would be receptive to the idea... Doubton's only gonna drive her away. Show her you're a man with a plan. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll make it happen this year. And I'll be rooting for you, pal. Great. On that note, I'd better get going. I still have some work left at the office. here. It's talk. Dude, all you do is trade all the time. I guess it's the right choice or the wrong choice. You've reached Yokohama 99. Yo, it's Kaito. Wanna go get drinks? You, me, and Sugiura? Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sugiura, she's not available. Right now, he's out looking into an affair. Huh. Okay, what about you? It's been a while, you know. Uh, well, I do appreciate the invite. Tonight's not good for me, either. It's not? How come? Because tonight is reserved for anime. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> it's the premiere of Love Star 3, the movie, Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. Oh, come on, an anime? Can't you just record the damn thing? I don't think you get it, Kaito-san. A premiere only happens once, and then it's history. 
You have to watch the stream while it's live and keep the chat turned on. That's the experience. Huh? You gotta do what now? Oh, I know. Kaito-san, if you like, I can add you to our Love Star community. That way we can voice chat online while you have your drink at home. It's a win-win. I'm sure my friends would love to welcome you. Yeah, Tsukumo, I don't know. This sounds like a lot to me. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Gosh, I was just about to give you a breakdown on Love Star's deeper themes. Oh, well. Oh, stream's about to go live. Until uh, next time. Good word, Kaito Anaki. Just thought you might want to go have a drink. Right now? Yeah, thing is, I kind of have a dinner meeting tonight. A dinner meeting? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy for an arcade manager. Yeah, you're telling me. See, the thing is, we're opening up a new location in Eugene Show. Managed to hit it off with a guy who rents us our equipment. Turns out he's a CEO looking to invest. Whoa, so you'll be the owner of two arcades? Looks like it. Damn, look at you moving up in the world. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'd rather knock one back with my Anaki. Nah, you do your thing. Some other time, okay? Sounds good, Anaki. Oh, almost forgot. I heard this from one of the part-timers at Charles, but apparently some kid came looking for you some kid I guess I wasn't the one who saw him but evidently this punk had some fight in him our guys chased him out before he could start any shit what the hell's a kid like that want with me you tell me man but not right now I, I gotta prep for that meeting Okay? Yeah, just thought we could grab a drink. Oh, well, uh, like I said before, I still have work to do. Hell, you're not done yet? Not even close. Plus, Sauri san needs my help after this, so. Yeah, I get it. Can't tear a man away from the love of his life. Something like that. Anyway, let's try it some other time. face a tender. Maybe I'll bump it as someone I know. about the same I think more space maybe I'm not sure you can even have side missions maybe
the hell is this? I guess you want to pose. ありがとうございましたright here. Oh my gosh, was someone murdered? Dunno. Could have been a Yakuza, maybe. But I thought the Tojo clan was long gone. Kaito-san, come join us. You by yourself? Yeah. Talks out of town helping Gendo-sensei. Says he'll be gone another couple days. Aha. Uh -huh. So is the sidekick getting lonely without the leading man? <laughs> In your dreams, Mari. Masada, the usual. You see any shit going down outside? I overheard someone talking about a murder. Ah, that. Apparently, the victim was a young executive. 
Actually, there was a similar case a few days ago. It caught quite a stir. I believe the man was a CEO. Some killers out to eat the rich, huh? Who knows? Crazy world out there. Uh, speaking of which, did you finish the job I found you? Oh, I kicked the crap out of those swindlers. And Hoshino-kun put on quite the show. Really? Oh, I wish I could have seen the pros at work. Know what else? I think Hoshino-kun and Saori-san are just about there. Fellow was all riled up, saying this'll be the year. By that, you mean they're tying the knot? Yeah. The question is, will Saori-san give him a yes? <laughs> I'd say she needs more time. If he rushes it, it might not turn out well. Yeah, I suppose your gut's usually right, Mari. What about you, Kaito-san? Any romance blooming in your life? <laughs> Whoa! Since when was this about me? <laughs> because... you clearly have no trouble talking to women, but I never hear what happens in the end. What happens in the end... is rejection. Yeah? Well, maybe I like being a free agent. You call it rejection. I call it release. And even if I do keep getting shot down, so what? Every beauty who walks away is only making room for the next one. That's a great way to look at it. You're gonna grow into a lonely old man at this rate. Honestly, Mari, that's all talk. Once Kaido-san falls in love, he falls so hard he can't even see straight. Why, I recall a time he even considered getting married. You're kidding! Kaito-san, a husband? Yo, could we not go there? Oh, shoot, her name was on the tip of my tongue. I suppose it's been over a decade now. Y you two were living together, right? I think her name... Masada, look, that's a long story. Some other time, okay? Hmm? Oh. Sure thing. By the way, got any more gigs? You've been dry thanks to those fake detectives, so if you could hook it up. Actually, that reminds me. A man came by asking about you. He said he was looking for someone. He wanted me? Specifically? I don't know the details, but he wants to meet you. He's the CEO of some tech company. Oh, a tech company, eh? What's the offer? He said he's prepared to pay two million up front. Two million? Well, well, that's mighty generous. Apparently, it's for any investigation expenses that come up. And when it's done, he'll pay an extra 20 million. <laughs> 20 million? Depending on the outcome, he might pay even more. He must be swimming in cash. Holy hell. Sounds like a tempting offer, but do you really want to do it alone? Especially with your boss out of town. True. <laughs> One look at you and the client might drop the case and run. Right? At least find a smart looking jacket to cover whatever that is. Oh, indeed. You'll need to dress for the occasion, that's for sure. Man, you guys have no faith in me, huh? Well, I'm not putting on a show for him or anyone else. True style doesn't change with the tides. Not to mention, it's the heart that counts. Watch me knock this guy's socks off, just being plain old Kaito.
tea's about to expire. Hey, Bonaki, what's with the suit and tie? What? I thought I'd pull out all the stops for today's climb. Dress for the occasion and all that. After all, the pro's gotta look the part, too. I mean, yeah. You never give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I start now. Today's just special, all right? Okay, but do you really need me here? Don't you get it? If I'm busy talking this guy up, who's gonna offer some tea? The landlady? Besides, you poured in the Matsugane family for years. The boss loved your tea, remember? Whoa, hang on. That was a long time ago. Well, I'm counting on you today. I'm paying you. 50,000 just to serve two people. Coming from you, that's pretty generous. How much is this gig worth, anyway? Uh, that's a matter of, uh, detective client privilege. Hey, he's here. Uh, come in. Hello there. I'm Kyoya Sadamoto, CEO of Image Interactive. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. I'm Masaharu Kaito, an investigator here. I'm Higashi, just a part-timer. It really is great to meet you, Kaito-san. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope? Of course. You're a legend in these parts, aren't you? I'm not so sure about that. Oh, but first, please, take a seat. Enjoy. Ah, why thank you. Well then, uh, shall we get down to business? I understand you're looking for someone. Uh, may I ask who? That would be my wife. My deceased wife, actually. Your deceased wife? Can you give me some more details? I was under the impression she went missing. Well... I lost her about two years ago. She took her own life. I see. I'm very sorry. Let me rephrase then. You want us to find her, even though you know she passed away? Yes, well... Why don't I start from the time she died? Two years ago, my wife left a suicide note at home one day disappeared. As you can imagine, I went right to the police. Upon finding nothing, she was declared a missing person. Six months later, they recovered a body, possibly my wife's, on a riverbed in the mountains of Chiba. There's a large waterfall nearby, which she likely jumped. Her body was decomposed beyond recognition. But authorities later identified her based on something she was carrying. And what was that? A photograph. In it was her and our son. I see. But was that really enough to ID her? Wouldn't they have done some sort of analysis? Yes. I requested a DNA test be performed. Lo and behold, my wife was a near-perfect match. Then, at that point, her death was all but certain. Yet, you still believe she's alive? About a month ago, my wife's friend said she saw someone in Kamurocho that looked like her. This woman, according to my wife's friend, was with some unfamiliar man. 
and when the friend called out her name, she froze. Then she immediately fled. Is it possible this was all just a coincidence? Believe me, I considered that. The DNA test had more or less cemented her death in my mind. But then I started doing my own research, and I found that DNA test results weren't always set in stone. Especially in cases where the body's in an advanced state of decomposition, the results can vary widely. I even came across an astonishing article in which someone's lost relative showed up after a DNA test said they died. After reading that, who wouldn't have hoped that their dear wife is still somewhere out there? Hmm. Mind you, this woman was the spitting image of my wife. Her voice was a perfect match too. And this is coming from a friend who's known her for years. As she herself put it, there's no way it wasn't her. My contact at Tender quoted two million in advance, plus another twenty million upon completion. Yes. Regardless of the outcome, I intend to have at least that much prepared. When you say at least that much, you mean... If you manage to find my wife safe and sound, I'll throw in another ten million. So, a grand total of 32 million? Hey, Anaki. Just checking. I'm being paid 50,000 today, right? Yeah, 50,000 for serving some damn tea. Got a problem? Oh, no, it's fine. Now I see where all that generosity is coming from. By the way, May we request any photos of your wife you may have? <sighs> Sir? I've actually approached other detectives about this. But none of them could turn up any leads. Then I heard you were working as a detective. A Kamurocho, no less. Immediately, I thought to myself, if anyone can find my wife, it's him. Considering how well acquainted you are. Huh? You saying I know her? Uh. Oh. Monarchy, isn't that... Yes. Mikiko Natsume was her maiden name. I understand you used to live together long ago. And that sums up why I'm here. Because of how intimately you know her. You're really going to go? After what they did to the boss, I can't just sit back and do nothing! But you might actually get killed this time. I'm sorry. So your family is more important than me. Believe me, I understand how bizarre this request might be. But I know you can get to the bottom of it. You lived with Mikiko in this very town. You knew her better than anyone. Kaito-san, I'm begging you. Won't you bring her back? I'd heard rumors. But I never thought they'd be true. Sadamoto-san, are you sure Mikiko took her own life? I mean, she did leave a suicide note. Why, though? The Mikiko I knew would never do that, no matter what the reason. Honestly, I wish I knew. The note was sparse on details. 
the hell does that mean? Aren't you supposed to be her husband? <sighs> For what my memory's worth, Mikiko seemed to have some anxieties about her job. And I was so busy with my own work at the time, I failed to give her support. I was hardly even home half the time. It was only when she left me that I realized how poorly I treated her. So, let's say Mikiko is alive. Then what? It's gonna be one big happy reunion? I don't really have an answer for that. I doubt she'd even want to look at me. But then again, we do have our son to consider. He's 14 already. His name's June. So, Mikiko's got a kid and everything. Yes. And he's just as rambunctious as his mother. He took off once he heard she might be alive. Even though I specifically told him to stay put, the moment my back was turned, he was gone. Wait, he ran away? He did. About two weeks ago. I thought he might pull something like this, so I set up location tracking on his phone. But, being that he left his phone in his room, he must have figured that out. Outsmarted by a teenager. I swear. Two weeks on his own at his age? At 14, he's what? In middle school? June pulls this kind of stunt all the time. He hangs out with these delinquents, often couch surfing for days at a time. Of course, I'm one to talk. Since most days, I miss the last train. And since I'm at a hotel, I won't even be home to notice he's gone. How about that? Look, that's all beside the point. Right now, I need your help. <sighs> Hate to break it to you, Sadamoto-san. But I don't think I'm your guy. What? May I ask how come? I just... Don't think I'm cut out for it, is all. Come now. That's final. Fine. Fine. I know when a mind's made up. What a shame that is. Sure you want to let this guy go? That's 32 mil walking away. Not to mention the truth about Mikiko. I know what I'm doing. Okay, you're the boss. Job down the shitter. I think that calls for a drink. You, uh, want somebody to tag along? Sure, but weren't you slammed with the new opening and all? Well, I mean, yeah, there's work to be done. I'd have to go inspect the place after. Right. Then you better go deal with that. Glad to hear business is good, though. Sorry about that, Anaki. Oh, and about that 50 grand I owe you. Don't even worry about it. Tea was on the house today, man. 
The bionic he says poor. I serve the best damn cup you ever tried. That shit hasn't changed. Oh, Higashi. You wonderful bastard. Huh? Hey, Anaki. That photo. Damn it. Don't just leave your junk in my office. Well, wouldn't be the first gig I tossed. Better head on down to Tender and see what else Mossad has got brewing. Yanaki, you got a minute? What's up, Higashi? Yeah, so I just got a call from Charles. Remember how I told you about that kid who came by looking for you? Yeah, what about him? Well, he's back and causing problems like usual. Can you go take care of him? He's just some punk ass kid. Why don't you take care of him? Because I got meetings and shit to deal with. My employee's in there on her own. I really gotta handle some kid? What? You're just gonna abandon a college girl in trouble? Huh? Oh, I see. You almost got me with that one, give shit. You think I'd lie to you? Seriously, she's young, she's single. You too. Are you sure about that? Yep. Oh, did I mention she's way into beards? She says she likes him bearded and burly. Guess I have no choice. If a lady, uh, uh, if my bro needs my help, I guess I gotta go save the day. You're a lifesaver, Anaki. I'm counting on you here. Is that?
making that smell? Messing around! I'll kill you, you little whip! Damn. Talk about a shit show. You can relax now, miss. I'm taking over from here. <laughs> Are you Yakuza? No, actually, I was sent by the owner, Higashi. What's going on here? Oh, well, those men were being disgusting, but then that boy stood up for me. I'd rather be a wimp than a total piece of shit, not to mention an ugly one. Say that again, you brat! Go! <laughs> Too slow, dumbass! That's it. I'm carving you up! Step back, bud. <laughs> I said step back. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Uh. Hold up. Did you just pass out on me? Hey, miss. Mind getting this kid out of the way? Uh, uh, okay. Taking his place, ape man? Then I'll just have to carve you up first! Here we go! Take your dumb asses outside. Damn it! Hey, up and at him. Huh? Listen, you're a good kid for helping people, but... Taking on two grown-ass men is another story. Wait. Hey, you all right? It's your head or something? What? Do I know you? Or, uh... Holy crap! It's you! You're Masaharu Kaito from the Matsugane family! Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I've been out of the family for a while now. Man, I've been looking all over for you. I'm Jun Sadamoto. Sadamoto? What is that name? Uh, you're Mikiko's kid? <laughs> Guess we meet at long last. I heard you used to roll with the Matsugane family, so I've been asking people who looked apart what they knew. <sighs> Should have seen my face when I found out you guys broke up. Oh, 
Okay, well, wanna tell me why Mikiko's kid is going around looking for me? Here's the deal, Kaito-san. I want you to find my mom. The, the say what? Yeah, I thought you might have a clue where she is. You two used to live together and all. Kid, let me be frank. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I've told your pops. You're asking the wrong guy. Wait, my dad came to you about this? Hey, where are you going? Home. Wait up! Dude, what the heck? I thought you were mom's ex. Don't you care about her at all? She's nothing but a stranger to me now. But listen, we haven't heard from her in two years. That's if she's still alive. Don't you think she's in some kind of trouble? How should I know? Maybe she's having a time of her life without some brat all up in her business. The hell? Okay, back it up a sec. My mom would never desert me. Then where'd she go, huh? Get lost already. <clears throat> I bet you just don't want to see her, cause she ditched your sorry ass! I read all about it in her diary. How mom wanted you out of the Yakuza so she could marry you with a clean conscience. But then you went on some kind of dangerous mission. Better die a henchman than live as a husband, huh? And now you turn your back on her again? <laughs> no wonder you two are strangers! What? You wanna go? <sighs> Might wanna ease up on the grown-up act, kid. Anyway, your mom and I are ancient history. So unfortunately, I can't do anything for you. <sighs> what if I told you I'm your son? Then what? You're still gonna walk away? What did you just say? I said, you and Mom might have had me. Wait, wait. This is total crazy talk. It was written in Mom's diary, around the time you broke up. Her diary? Yeah. I read what happened after you went on some raid and you guys split. Apparently, she didn't get to tell you that I was a little fetus at the time. You gotta be shitting me. I am not shitting you! I actually think... You're my dad. But then why? After all this time? Listen, why else would I be busting my ass to find you? Now come on! You and I are gonna go find Mom, and then she'll tell you herself! Just another day in Kamurocho. After resolving a local incident, Kaito is approached by Kyoya Sadamoto, who asks him to search for his late wife Mikiko. Mikiko was Kaito's old flame, who parted ways with him long ago. Kaito turns Sadamoto down before any past wounds can reopen. But he soon finds himself face to face with Sadamoto's son, June. That's when June tells him the unthinkable. That Kaito might be his real father. Back in the day. The Matsugane family was on real bad terms with a rival. Like, waiting for all-out war to kick off bad. One day, I got a call from the office saying they need me right away. 
Because of course I hauled ass over. Hey! What's the situation? Some lady busted in here. It seems like she means business. Huh? You called me over some lady? Not just any lady. A real hellcat. Says she ain't leaving till the boss gets back. Look. I'm not messing around! Ah, ah. Oh, for the love of God, it hurts! Let go of me, you crazy bitch! God. Listen up! You lay a finger on Maho! I'll snap his arm clean off! Getting his ass hot. I take it this gorilla is your muscle? You gonna try me or beat your chest? You're the one calling me a gorilla? God. What the fuck happened? It all started with the girl on the floor. She racked up quite a bill at one of our host clubs, but when the check came, she couldn't settle. We were gonna have to work it off at a cabaret club, but this chick busted it and went fucking ballistic. What? Wait, how exactly is any of this our fault? You tell me, man. I wash my hands of it. You're running the cabaret club starting next month. You deal with this shit. Oh, come on. Hey, hold up. Let's hear your side. She barged in here out of nowhere and came straight at me. Out of nowhere, my ass. I had to do something. For real? You two have to get your story straight. Is it? This right here. Let's see. This right here. Hey, hold up. What'd you do to end up like that? Fuck, I don't know. She just burst in the office and told us to give her her sister. Hang on. So her sister was already here? Yeah. She was supposed to start working at one of our cabaret clubs. But this one busted in the door. He was already demanding to see the boss. When I said he wasn't here. She yelled at us to call him and let her wait in his office. Obviously talking to you assholes won't get me anywhere. Is this it? S 
So, you're this madwoman's sister, right? Please don't kill me! Whoa! No one's killing anybody here. Uh, uh, uh. Speak for yourself, asshole! You leave my sister alone! Hmm. What have we here? Hey, what happened here? Uh, well, it happened so fast, I don't know. As soon as I came in here, this was happening. How does nobody know what happened? Was it nap time in the office or something? I guess I'll have to take a look around and make the call myself. Is this it? Let's see. See what's going on here, Mikiko Natsume. I figured a gal wouldn't bust in here without reason. If anything, you and your sister are the victims. Well, here and now, not for the host club stuff. Huh? I'm saying these jerk offs never learn their hospitality. I'd like to apologize for the rough reception. Okay, what's your angle here? I know you didn't come here just to drag your sister off and leave her dead unpaid. At the very least, I'm sure snapping off limbs wasn't your first intention. You see this? brought those sweets, right? <sighs> that alone tells me breaking Hoda's arm wasn't your plan A. Well, well. Guess you're the smartest ape of the bunch. So what? Well, I can also tell how your negotiations broke down. The evidence is right here in front of me. I see. This is what did it. They the That's just my resume. What's so problematic? Well, weren't you trying to talk your way into the family? Gotta admit, it is a bit far out. Never heard of a lady Yakuza before. Uh... I'm guessing when Hoda tried showing you the door, you snapped, right? Though, to be honest, he was probably just doing you a favor. I mean, clearly, you know how to handle yourself. But we deal with some real rough characters here. I don't want to scare you, but you can imagine some of the worst things that could happen. And without any legal recourse to back you up? Trust me, 
You're better off as a civvy. Are you seriously that stupid? You are, aren't you? Wait, you mean you're not? Oh, oh I see. In that case, I'm pretty sure I know what set this powder keg off. It was your sister. Look how her top got messed up. Even though you kicked things off polite, it seems Hoda got hands on at some point. Which explains why you got him crying uncle in his own office. <laughs> not bad for a Yakuza. You sure you're not a detective in disguise? <laughs> if they ever kick me out, I may just consider it. But listen, Yukiko-san. You have to admit, your sister is partly responsible. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay. It's just basic business, you see? I know how business works. And I never said we wouldn't pay you back. Okay. Then what's the issue? The issue is... Maho's enrolled in college back home. If she ends up stuck as some hostess in Tokyo, she may as well kiss her education goodbye. I just want to see her graduate, find a career, and live a happy life. Can't your parents loan you the cash to get her out of this? No way! They'd freak if they knew I went to host clubs, let alone got into debt over one! Well, that part's all on you. Look, I get it with you people. Three million yen is a lot. I actually came to discuss repayment. But then this douchebag grabs my sister like some barbarian! God, uh, I only did it because your sister got shitty with me! Then, Nikiko-san, what's your real plan here? You got a lead on three mil somehow? Well, I work in Shinjuku. Just a desk job during the day. The nights are pretty much free. And in college, I worked as a server. I even got employee of the month a few times. Now, I know I've never been a hostess. But it can't be that different. At the very least, I'm a lot more qualified than my sister. Wait, are you saying... I'm saying I'll work for you instead. I'll even give you a start date. How's that for basic business? And that's how I met Mikiko. She was just so headstrong and full of personality. That tenacity of hers pushed her to the top in no time. Not to mention, she was a real ball buster. She'd take it upon herself to punish bad customers. And, since it was my job to look after her, I'd step in when things got ugly. Which happened a lot. So this Mikiko chick's covering for her sister. Not a bad plan. It's rare to see someone go that far. Even for flesh and blood. Apparently, a car crash took their parents out when they were little. That was their only family. After that, they were lucky enough to get foster parents. It seems they're one big happy family now. Interesting. But is the boss gonna be cool with a swap? He says he doesn't see an issue. Long as we get paid. Fair enough. Just make sure she doesn't skip town and make it an issue, Aniki. Nah, <sighs> she won't be problem. Rough as she is, her heart's in the right place. Hey, what the hell was that for? You know the rules. No touching, no exceptions. Oh, come on. I'm a paying customer. Who are you to tell me what to do? And who are you to feel up our staff? Nothing gives you that right. It's okay, Nikiko. Really. But let's just go inside. I'm handling it, Momoko-chan. <sighs> we kicking this chick to the curb or what? Yeah! Curb stomper if you have to! Call you back later, Higashi. Break time's over. Uh, uh, 
Anaki? on tonight. Start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! Really sorry. I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. <clears throat> Yo, what's with your office? No guns, no family crest? This place is lame. For the last time, I'm out of that life. This is the detective agency I work at now. Oh, yeah. Whoops. But damn, it's grody in here. You guys never clean up? Kid, just take a seat, will ya? My name's June, not Kid. Hey. That's... Something your pops forgot to take home. Huh. Weird. Anyway, where are we at so far? Oh yeah, you were saying you're my kid. You know, you could call me your son, since that's what I am and all. <sighs> Look, just tell me what you know, alright? About your mom. Your pops filled me in on some of the details. Said something about how she might even still be alive. Yeah, it always seemed off to me. I just can't imagine her taking her life. But the DNA test said it was her, right? Feels like the odds of a mistake are pretty low. <sighs> I think Mom got caught up in some deep shit. Deep shit? As in... I don't know. But I think her suicide and the DNA test were faked. She's gotta be out there somewhere. As for why she can't get in touch, maybe she just can't. You sound like you thought this through. Any idea what happened? Uh, maybe something went wrong at work. Or she got kidnapped by some criminals. Doesn't sound all that convincing. But now that you mention it, 
Your dad did say she might have been anxious on the job. What did she do for work? Oh, she ran a cafe. Her cafe. No kidding. Does she run it all by herself? Yeah, she was doing real good too. She knows how to handle people. That's for sure. Though with her personality, I can also see her making a few enemies. Well... She would have bad customers from time to time. There were also these people who tried to buy her out. But I can't think of anyone who'd want her dead, you know? So... You think you're my son? And it says this in your mom's diary? Yeah. She writes everything in that diary. This one she wrote 15 years ago, I think. It was right after the two of you broke up. What exactly did she write? Um, stuff like... I don't know if I should keep it. I'll never see Masaharu-san again. I should get this taken care of, though. A hell of a thing for you to read. Honestly, I get how she must have felt. After all, the man she loved walked out of her life and into a life-or-death situation. How could she marry and have a kid when her husband could get killed at any moment? Yeah. Tragic, ain't it? Then she decided to listen to her parents and marry the guy we all thought was my dad instead. But at some point between your breakup and their marriage, she found out she was pregnant. That's probably why you never got word of it. Okay. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's say you are my kid. That means your dad got married, knowing your mom was carrying another man's child? I guess so. Yeah. He's really the type who'd commit like that? Could be. Maybe he was just that into her. I mean, sure, but, uh... June, you said your name was. What kind of mom has Mikiko been to you? What kind of mom? I guess I'd say she's been pretty cool. She's been... cool? Yeah, like she would always lend a hand to someone in trouble. Even if it was some nasty flirt or a big hulking thug, she'd get right in his face and tell him off. A couple of times she almost threw down right in front of us. Dad would freak out big time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, are you gonna help me find my mom or what? Remember, I am a professional here. That means I get paid. To work. And I doubt you can afford my services. <laughs> oh, I think I've got that covered. <laughs> what? You gonna pay me in watches? <laughs> I swiped it when my dad wasn't looking. Sure is a nice piece of work. How much do one of these run? About 20 mil, give or take. Wait, how much? 20 million yen, man. Ha! <laughs> 20 mil for this? Fat chance. I've seen shit just like this at block over for only 30k. <laughs> you mean to tell me some idiot coughs up 20 mil to check the time? Never bullshit a bullshit kid. Don't believe me? Look it up. The brand's right there. <sighs> okay. How do you even pronounce this? <laughs> Bet it's some knockoff. Uh, huh? Holy shit! Damn thing's over 19 million! Is this some vintage collection? Nope, that's just the standard model. Dad's got a ton of them lying around, too. Unreal. How long would it take to earn that? <laughs> what was that about being a bullshitter? So here's the deal, old man. I give you the watch, you go find my mom. What? Not 
good enough? It's not yours to give in the first place. Put it back where it belongs. You're really gonna say no because of that? I'm leaving to go find Mikiko. You coming? Oh, man. You can call me Kaito, not man. Ha! <laughs> you got it, Kaito! So, where do we start? Kamurocho's not exactly a small place. There was this one spot your mom used to go all the time. Cafe Alps, it's called. Yeah, I remember. There she'd be. Sipping on coffee, reading a book. No noise from the city to bother her. Okay, and you think she might have went back there? Only one way to find out. Congrats, Maho-chan. <laughs> Gotta admit, I was getting a little worried when you started hitting the host clubs again. <laughs> Sometimes a girl has cravings, you know? Sometimes this girl can be a headache. Even so, nice work landing a job at a bank. Right out of college, too. Uh, it's just a desk job. Besides, it's my parents who know the board of directors and all. <sighs> All I'm going to say is please be careful. You never know what kind of people you're dealing with. I don't know if you've noticed, but weirdos seem to flock to you like creepy pigeons. Remember that one stalker you had at the convenience store? That's just one example. Oh yeah! Yeah. Next time some crazy guy bothers you, you tell me right away. Oh, sure. Like you'd rush all the way back home just for that. I would if I had to. See, this is why I don't tell you things. You never end up treating me like an adult. I mean, I get that you're worried about me, but you don't have to breathe down my neck all the time. Says the girl who went broke over some stupid host. How could I not worry about you? Why, just the other day, you were eating up some sleazeballs pyramid scheme. You said it nearly changed your life. Well, it felt right at the time, okay? Hey, a catch like you ought to be more careful. Take your sister, for example. She knows when to keep her guard up. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it, Kaito-san. Wait, did you just imply Mikiko's a catch, too? Huh? That... <laughs> what'd I say? I forgot they were waiting. I never said they had to be outside. I mean, they could at least come in and say hi, right? Ugh, so rude. <sighs> Sorry about them, Masaharu-san. Don't be. If I were your folks, I'd probably feel the same. Oh, don't say that. They just haven't seen what a good guy you are. I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. After all, I'm a modern-day Cupid. I brought you two together, didn't I? Now watch, as I work my magic. <laughs> good luck wearing them down.
sign of mom. Guess that'd be too easy. Yeah, it never is. But for now, we ask around and see if anyone recognizes her. <sighs> hey, you got a minute? Oh, what's up? Has this woman been by here recently? Mm, not that I remember. Are you sure? She would have been here in the past two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, last week I was out of town with my girl, so I really wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. You could always ask the manager. Is he around? I mean, shouldn't you know? Oh, for sure. I just don't know where he is now. I did see him before. You know what? I'll go find him. Enjoying a little nap, huh? Yo, you got a sec? Hmm. <sighs> sleeper. find a new approach. This right here. Oh no. I can't find it anywhere. How could I lose 10,000 yen? Oh crap, this is bad. If I can't pay, I might get arrested. No, stay calm. It's just one bill. If anything, I dropped it close by. As long as the employees don't catch me looking around. Yeah, yeah, just gotta act natural. something up is this it Stuff like a cheese ring. Yeah. Still not enough? I can't get any louder. And if I get rougher, I'll break something. This is ridiculous, man. Quiet now. Yours? Is that? It is! The 10,000 yen I dropped! You found it! Yeah, I 
just happened to run across it, so here you go. Thank you so much. You saved me from being a dynant dasher, the worst kind of scum there is. Um, what I meant to say was, I was gonna beg and grovel until the staff took pity on me. Well, I'm out of here. Maybe invest in a wallet. Um, wait, before you go, I'd like to return the favor. Whoa. You sure? Absolutely. Not many folks would do what you just did. I would rather really take the money, but whatever, man, to each his own. This right here. Hey, that's your manager napping in the back, right? Oh, is he knocking out again? Guy could honestly sleep for days. I've seen him do it. Yeah? Well, how do you wake him up? I've got a couple questions for you. Hmm, if you must. You could always use that one thing. And that one thing would be... It's that, uh... Oh, shoot, I blanked on the word. It, it looks like a stumpy trumpet. Uh, makes you louder? Yeah. Bullhorn or something like that? Here. I've been waiting three whole minutes! Oh, sorry. Just one second, please. Uh, anyway. Get the thing, then take the you-know-what's out of his ears. After that, it should be a snap. The thing should be over in the place. Just look around. You'll find it. What in the hell was that? <sighs> Is this it? What, what? Oh, uh, who might you be? Good morning to you, too. I just had a quick question. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? I'm Kaito, from the Yagami Detective Agency. I'm after a missing person. Uh, who's missing? This woman. Has she been around lately? I remember she was a regular here for the longest time. Uh, oh, this lady. Uh, you've seen her? Uh, not recently, but she certainly was a regular. Mikiko-san was her name. Good, so you know her. What else do you remember? Actually, a lot. She stood up for me on multiple occasions. <laughs> I'm sure you know the types we get around here. <laughs> if anyone started making trouble around her, she'd march over and walk them right out. <laughs> yeah, she was a pistol, all right. Oh, and you! You and her were together, weren't you? That's right. You two had your favorite spot by the window. What now? Can't you see there's a baby in here, moron? Now either put that shit out or go smoke outside! Pipe down before I bust your face, kid! <laughs> Damn it! 
teach this little shit a lesson. Of course. Hey, I'm his guardian. You got a problem with the kid, you talk to me. I'm gonna guess it's not talking you want. Aniki, you hear this dipshit? Oh, I've heard enough. Let's put the fear of the Aragaki brothers in him. your head sometimes. Not everyone's gonna go down from an arm lock. Yeah, read you loud and clear. Although, your technique was spot on. Where'd you pick that one up? Oh, Mom taught me that a while back. So that was the Mikiko special. Yeah, she knew all kinds of stuff. Kickboxing, self-defense, you name it. Mom was badass. Reminds me of a story your mom once told me. Some little shitheads were picking on your aunt, right? Instead of telling the teacher, she trained herself at a dojo till she <coughs> could take him down herself. Guess you two had something in common. You both kick ass. Boom! Pa! You fire off punches like a rocket launcher. You seriously gotta teach me how you do that. <laughs> Why? So you can pick even more fights? Self-defense is all a kid like you needs. Ah, <sighs> weak. <sighs> Thank you so much for what you did. As I was saying earlier, guys like them always come around making trouble. Glad I could help clean up. Shall we continue our discussion? Right, right. So the punks made me lose focus. So, can you tell me anything about Mikiko? Sure. I'd say this happened, oh, about ten days ago. A woman came in and ordered coffee. She was seated by the window, too. At the time, I thought she looked familiar, but I wasn't 100% sure. But when you showed me that picture of Mikiko, I immediately thought of that customer. Was it her? Well, I can't say for certain. She wore sunglasses, so it may have been someone else. details you remember? Hmm. What else? Oh, this one's about Mikiko-san herself. I remember she used to bring a friend fairly often. Maybe she might know something more. I believe she knew this friend from a cabaret club. Oh, you don't mean Momoko-chan. Momoko-chan, that's the one. I haven't seen her in a few years, but she might still be around. Last time I heard, she was running a bar in the Champion District. Yeah, Momoko's. I used to pop in there sometimes. Nice! And I guess we know where we're headed. Thanks for all your help today, boss man. Oh no, this was the least I could do. Please, come back again.
was good. Delicious. Arigatou gozaimashita. Why the fuck they ain't away? This right here. いらっしゃいませ。
Give me a break. By the way, Kaito, I've been curious. How does one join the Yakuza anyway? Say what? Maybe I want to find me a family, so I thought I'd ask the expert. Is it just like they do in the movies, where you swear an oath to your boss over a cup of sake? Chu, please don't tell me you're serious. Yeah, and what if I am? Then you're even dumber than I thought. No kid should even think of wanting that life. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay. Then say goodbye to having your own bank account. Or a place under your own name. Any Yakuza you see is probably dead broke. That's how bad the police have them now. Trust me when I tell you. Give it up. Not sure I buy all that. You've been out of the game for a while, right? How much wax do you have in those ears? Ha! Found you, little bastard! I knew I'd track your skinny ass down! You a friend of yours? Who, this asshole? I caught him beating on a homeless guy, so I figured he needed a lesson in empathy. Didn't last long when I twisted his arm, though. You just love getting into shit, don't you? Listen up, shit stain! It's time I got some payback! What, you want round two? This time I'm breaking bones. And I'm chopping limbs! Get ready to bleed! <sighs> June, allow me. Oh, hey, you with me? Uh, uh, what is the deal with you? This is a knife, man. Fuck off, man. This Unless you want to get hurt. Let's just take his ass down already. This kid really <clears throat> knows how to choose him. So I'm gonna come up, bitch.
Ju, you okay? Uh, wait, don't tell me I... Passed out again? Yeah, you sure did. You want to tell me what's up with that? I just can't handle that shit. What shit? Knives, man. When I see one, my brain just shuts down. The hell? You got some sort of knife of phobia going on? Don't tell me you got stuck at some point. Not exactly. See, I was messing around with my dad's knife collection one day. And like a dad, he warned me never to touch them. But as a kid, of course, I was gonna. Okay. Well, as you can guess, my dad walked in on me. And man, was he pissed. Which naturally got me pissed, so I started talking back. That's when he put the knife to my arm. You saying he cut you? A little. Enough to draw blood, anyway. You get it now, June? Knives were made to hurt. A person can die if they're not careful around them. I don't want you touching these ever again. Understand? So that's what did you mean. If you ask me, he took his lesson way too far. Yeah, no shit. I has no fucking clue how to be a dad. All he does is work himself sick in his office. Though, he did apologize later. After he found out how bad he messed with me. Said he was out of line. No kidding. Hey, you think the Yakuza would still take me even with the fear of knives? If you pass out the moment you see a blade, I don't think you'd last long either way. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Fainting on the job in that line of work's a death sentence. Besides, it's not like you can always swoop in and save the day. I gotta get over this bullshit. You can save the pity party for later. We're out to find your mom, remember? Right. Yeah. John? Oh, Kaito-san. Gosh, it's been ages. Oh, who is this young man? His son. The name's June. Really? Oh my goodness, Kaito-san. When did you... D don't listen to him. He's actually... Uh, it's kind of complicated. So, Mikiko-chan might be alive? You're sure? Well, we're not, but apparently a lady who looked just like her was spotted in town. I came here hoping you might know what that's about. After all, you two were pretty much inseparable. Before she disappeared, did she reach out to you at all? Hmm... I can't really say she did. All I remember is she never forgave herself for what happened to Maho-chan. Wait, what happened to Maho-chan? Oh no, you haven't heard? I think it was... 13, 14 years ago? Anyway, it was tragic. Without even seeing it coming, Maho-chan passed away. You, you're kidding. Oh, not Maho-chan. How'd it happen? Well... According to the reports, it was arson. Imagine your last moments being trapped in a fire. Arson? Oh, God. What a way to go. Their foster parents died that night, too. Why these horrible things happen, I'll never know. Mikiko-chan took it especially hard. Of course she would. Her sister was really all she had left. <sighs> After that, Mikiko-chan changed. It's 
like all the sadness in her heart evaporated from that point on. She'd say things like she'd kill the bastard who did it, as if the only thing driving her was anger. Will they ever catch the guy who did it? They did. Apparently it was a stalker who'd been after Mahu-chan a while. He hung himself immediately after. Bastard just did himself in, huh? But Mikiko really hated that. Yeah. Mikiko-chan got so depressed. <laughs> it was hard to watch. Not only did she lose her little sister, she lost people who took her in. Even though they weren't flesh and blood, they may as well have been her real parents. And all that goes away in a night. To someone she can't even hold responsible. <laughs> June, did you know this? Well, kinda. It happened right after I was born, though, so I never heard much details. Damn. <sighs> you okay, Kaito? Yeah. We've got a job to do, don't we? Right. Where else in town might Mom have gone? <sighs> hey, what about your special spot? Have you checked there yet? Huh? What special spot? <laughs> Seriously? I'm talking about Kamuro Theater. And Mikiko-chan told me all about it way back when. Although, wasn't it called something else back then? Oh. Hey, uh, what was this special spot of theirs? Mm. It's where Kaito-san asked your mom to go steady. <laughs> Whoa! For real? <laughs> mm-hmm. If I remember right, he took her to a movie and confessed at the downstairs cafe. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, the place has been remodeled since then. The cafe's not even there anymore. But isn't the place itself still important? Those memories will always be there. I mean, maybe, but would Mikiko even go there after all these years? She might have if she came all the way back to Kamurocho. After all, she described it as one of the happiest times in her life. Huh. Did she really? Well, it's not like we have any other leads. Might be worth a shot to check. Yeah. I suppose we could. <laughs> 